In this video, we will show you how to install cable rail standard assemblies in a wood stair railing frame. Please watch this video in its entirety before you begin your installation project. We also recommend you download and read through our installation instructions. Our cable rail installation starts with planning the railing frame and cable runs. For this video, we have built a set of stairs with structural posts that are at the recommended maximum of 6 feet apart. We are using a wood intermediate picket between the posts so that there is no more than 3 feet between vertical members. Our cable run is about 7 feet, so we'll be using 10 foot long assemblies. To calculate the number of assemblies required, we need to find the height of the railing frame opening. Measure the distance from the bottom of the cap rail to the top of the foot rail. We recommend spacing the cables no more than 3 inches apart. We will need a total of 9 cable rail assemblies. For details on all railing frame options, please visit our website. Be sure to consult local building codes for any special requirements for cable infill in your area. In this video, we'll be using cable rail 1 8 inch standard assemblies available at many local building suppliers. 1 8 inch standard assemblies are perfect for all residential and light commercial projects. These prefabricated assemblies are sold in 5 foot increments at lengths from 5 feet to 70 feet. Each assembly has a threaded terminal end which has been permanently attached to the cable with a special hydraulic press. The assembly kit also includes a snug grip washer nut and flat washers, as well as a quick connect fitting for the other end of the cable. In this video, we're using dome style stainless steel end caps to cover, protect, and provide a finished look to the assemblies. End caps are available in other styles and are sold separately. We will also need beveled washers for the threaded terminal post and protector sleeves for the quick connect post. Make sure you have all your cable rail assemblies and components before you begin installation. You will also need the following tools. Tape measure, safety glasses, work gloves, pencils, hammer, vice grip pliers, 7 16 inch wrench, cable rail cable cutters, square, cable release tool, cable lacing needle, tension gauge, electric drill, drill bits, drill guide, electric grinder with cutoff disc and grinding disc. Using the measurement we took when calculating the number of assemblies, we'll now mark all drill holes on all posts. Drill bit sizes vary based on the diameter of cable and the type of fittings you are using. In our installation, we're using 1 8 inch cable with standard quick connect and threaded terminal fittings. We'll need three different drill bit sizes. A 1 quarter inch drill bit will be used on intermediate posts and pickets and to pre-drill holes in the quick connect post. A 5 16 drill bit will be used on the threaded terminal post. A 3 8 drill bit will be used on the quick connect post. We start at the bottom stair post and drill angled 5 16 inch holes for the threaded terminal fittings. The angle we're using is the same as the slope of the stairs. Next, we drill 1 quarter inch holes in the intermediate picket. You may also use one of our pre-drilled intermediate pickets as an alternative to the wood picket. At the quick connect post, first we through drill the post from the inside with a 1 quarter inch drill bit. Then we counter bore with a 3 8 inch drill bit to the depth of the fitting. You can mark the length of the quick connect fitting on the bit before drilling counter bore holes. Insert protector sleeves in level holes drilled for quick connect fittings and any other posts where the cable transitions in a bend. Gently tap the protector sleeves in until they're flush. Protector sleeves prevent abrasion on the wood surface once the cables are tensioned. We are now ready to install the cables. Insert the threaded terminal in the bottom stair post hole and secure with a flat washer, a beveled washer, and a snug grip washer nut. The beveled washer provides a flat bearing surface for the washer nut. 
tighten the nut two to three full turns or until you feel resistance from the snug grip threads. Now we're going to lace the cable through the other posts. We recommend using our lacing needle for smoother threading through post holes. This prevents cable strands from catching on the sides of the post holes during installation. Lace the free end of the cable through all intermediate posts and pickets. Lace the cable through the quick connect termination post and remove the lacing needle. Cleanly trim the very end of the cable to allow the quick connect fitting to easily slide on. Attach a flat washer and quick connect fitting onto the end of the cable and slide the fitting into the post. The special spring loaded quick connect jaws only allow the fitting to slide in one direction and will automatically grip when the direction is reversed. If you make a mistake, don't panic. You can use the quick connect release tool. First, loosen the cable by removing the washer nut on the threaded terminal fitting. Then, at the quick connect post, use the release tool to disengage and remove or readjust the position of the quick connect fitting. After all cables have been laced, we take most of the slack out of the lines. Hold the quick connect fitting with one hand and pull the cable tight with the other. The fitting automatically locks when you release the cable. When tensioning on longer runs of cable, you can use a pair of vice grip pliers and a block of wood for leverage to help pull more cable through the quick connect fitting. We are now ready to begin final tensioning of the cables. Return to the threaded terminal post and grip the hexagonal shaft of the fitting with a pair of vice grip pliers to keep it from spinning. Tighten the snug grip washer nut with a 7 16 inch wrench to adjust the final tension in the cable. The special snug grip threads prevent the nut from loosening. Be sure to follow the recommended tensioning sequence to help minimize stress on the railing frame and easily adjust uniform tension across all of the cables. Start at the center cable and alternate until all cables are tightened. We do not recommend using electric or pneumatic tools to tighten the snug grip washer nuts. If the nuts spin too quickly, there's a risk that the threads will heat up and seize. Use the tension gauge to determine when you have tightened the cables enough. Trim the excess thread as close to the snug grip washer nut as possible. We're using an electric grinder with a cutoff disc, but you may use a hacksaw or electric reciprocating saw with a metal cutting blade instead. When using an electric grinder, be sure to protect the deck and surrounding surfaces from sparks or hot metal pieces that may fall. At the quick connect end, we're using the electric grinder again to remove excess cable that will impair the attachment of the stainless steel end cap. Get as close to the quick connect fitting as possible. We finish the assemblies with the dome style stainless steel end caps. Snap them on over the exposed quick connect fittings and the snug grip washer nuts. For lasting protection of stainless steel cable and parts, apply EnviroMagic Cleaner. Our railing is complete. For questions about your installation, visit our website or call us toll-free at 800-888-2418. Send in your finished project photos for the chance to win big cash prizes.